So hello everybody, I want to show you the uh, latest MWSC mod I'm, I'm trying to develop and it is called Smart Journal because... Well, let's see first the panel uh, Let's try to setting some uh, behavior for the journal to make it a little more easier to, to use, especially uh, if you have a very long loading list with a lot of quests. Uh, these are the options. You can choose to clear topics that has not entries yet because sometimes it happens that uh, you have some quest topic which is enabled by some other quest, by some other mod and it is enabled while other quests using the same topics are not yet uh, done so you see the topic but it's empty in the journal uh, it is not so common but it may happen and these options automatically can clear this kind of entries in your journal pages so uh, I think it may be of use uh, generally being enabled and this is more interesting because this happens always happens and Every time a new journal entry is added, uh, usually your journal is like this way. Uh, you have a date of the journal entry for each paragraph, for each journal entry. And this may be useful but I think it, it's better to have the same uh, entries under the same day to be grouped together and this is a feature that I've seen also in Sven mod I think so I try to add this, it to my mod also so what this is doing is grouping the entries with the same date header this way as you can see we have only on top of page and this could be useful then we have Skip links contained inside the journal walls. Sometimes you have uh, some some walls, some topics which are contained inside uh, longer walls that are uh, linked in the journal, and you may want to like this one. You see the offer topic is linked inside the offered word and you may want to remove them because usually uh, it's not a real topic uh, related to the journal entry but something that is highlighted by default so this options does this thing let's see if I can enable it again <laughs> and it is not working, it seems. Okay, so I must fix this thing because it should remove. Uh, maybe it doesn't work because it is not really inside the wall, it is starting with. But I must fix this thing because I want to remove it also 
when it is par partially contained so I will try and fix this but this is what I want to obtain is to remove this link because it, it's inside the world it, it's starting with but the meaning was it anyway uh, another thing I'm trying to do is and this is probably the important thing which uh, is the main reason why I tr I'm trying to do this mod is when you have a long loading list in the quest list it is often hard to know uh, from which mod the quest is uh, and uh, have uh, quests coming from the same mod grouped together usually it's it makes easier to follow the mod quests and so on so this option is trying to add a prefix to the uh, the quest name list so you can group them together and you can choose between giving as a prefix the shoes mod loading in index which is your loading order number for the mod uh, from which the quest is coming or you can choose a sort of prefix which is a sort, a sort of condensed name of the, the mod and uh, well is you cannot really understand what it means until you, you see it so I will just just show you show you it sorry my English is very bad but you can choose one probably this is the the better option or you can choose two to enable second longer condensed name uh, prefix let's try the the one so we go to options and quests and here is the list with the new prefixes added as you can see they are grouped together uh, and if you hover by default it's enabled this new tooltip uh, from which you can see uh, the loading order and the actual mod from which the quest is coming so for instance I want to group my uh, quests and see what quests are coming from time in revealed mainland uh, in this case I have one still uh, visible I can show the active quest once refresh it or show all of them uh, now I'm showing you all of them so these are all coming for instance from Canyon Rebuild so it's easier to follow what you're doing if you have a very long loading order and we can show only the active quests and as you can see they are grouped by loading order and the second option is to sort by a prefix which is more alphabetic prefix if you choose to here as you can see uh, it's sort of shortening the mod name but they are still grouped together so 
Pistons, these are coming from the mod called After the Blight, loaded at index order 133 and so on. But we will show the active quests as usual. So, for instance, these are all standard quests coming from Blood Moon, which is usually uh, the one standard Bethesda mod uh, which updates most of the standard quests. But this one, for instance, is from uh, Dark Lord, Greatest Dwemer Ruins, and uh, Morrowind. Red Mountains, Lights, uh, Magic Mod, and so on. So the prefix, this is from Ibernath Underworks. The prefix is sorting by mod name. And I think this is really, really useful in case you have a very low loading list because uh, it, it takes a lot to to follow your quests in this case uh, and I want to show you the other options uh, that you can enable or disable in the panel and these options are related to the tooltip, the new tooltip that you can see while hovering over uh, the quest. Uh, by default it is showing you the uh, loading order and the uh, mod name, but if you press the ALT key and hover you can see much more information because it is reading uh, from the mod info field and for instance I use this a uh, mod info field like many models uh, to put inside uh, some useful information like auto and what matched I have uh, what mods I have matched here for instance and what changes I did and so on and another important thing is uh, you, if you add here some uh, URL uh, some internet link to the mod uh, and you press the control and alt key um, now the mod information link should be opened automatically in your browser. So in this case we are going to the source and hover how pack project page. Uh, let's try this less generic NPCs one. And as you can see you can directly open uh, the related mod if you have this kind of link inside the mod info field which is something very useful uh, not all mods do this but you can easily from mesh add this kind of information in the info field anytime so I think it could be could be useful. Let's try this one. Ashes and ice. Control Alt. And we open the link. Uh, so let's get things started with our first mod, Ashes Taking and Ice by Team of the Bees. And with this mod, you'll hear rumors out at Fort the Frostmoth. That's strange showcases video the from the mod list. more dangerous than the typical Nordic wildlife that plagues the island. And and this is useful also if you want to download uh, the mod, update it and so on, because you can just go there directly, usually. And so, if you take the time to put this information, for instance, from Mesh in your mods, 
like this. You edit this field and add your link here, for instance. You can just well, you, you must save after. You can add this information then on the game. Uh, if you need information about quests and what mod and so on, you can just try and look for it this way. And this option is something you can enable or disable here. Add source mod name, quest hint, add the source mod author and info, yes or no, and so on. Open on the first URL found in mod info while control alt keys are pressed, and so on. And last option is to sort the quest list by quest name, which is better to enable it uh, when adding this prefix because. If you don't sort the entries, then uh, it is not so useful. Uh, so we'll get this back to one, because all in all, I think it, it is the better options. And so we go there and sort again things. And now we should have. Our uh, quest list sorted by mod loading in, uh, index. So for each quest I can see the mod they are coming from. I can see more information about it. And I can even open directly the link. This is another mod. I didn't want this one. I want the zoom. Let's see. Yeah. Now it is the right one. For a landmass mod of the week, we have the zone by Terrazarius Rex. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. Um, Hopefully, I will fix that option trying to remove the internal links from the walls and then publish the mod because I think it's stable enough. Um, well, in a short time, probably I will be able to publish it. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.